Hello everyone and welcome to my Royal Family Fans channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. The Duke of Kent is filled with fury and indignation over Meghan's malicious and spiteful actions to forcefully remove Pepper and Carol Middleton from their rightful places in the prestigious Wimbledon Royal Box. According to multiple reports, Pepper and Carol Middleton, who have been regular attendees of the Center Court's Royal Box alongside their parents, Carol and Michael, as well as their sibling James, were once relegated to seats behind the ordinary spectators, despite their rightful status and entitlement as members of the royal family. Traditionally, in accordance with Wimbledon etiquette, the Middletons should have full access to the Royal Box's 74 seats, along with individuals invited by the All England Lawn Tennis and Croquet Club. In the previous year, notable figures like actors Kate Winslet, Tom Cruise, Andrew Garfield, as well as Lord Frederick Windsor and Sophie Winkleman, had the privilege of watching the tennis matches from this exclusive and esteemed area in SW19. However, in 2019, to the astonishment and disappointment of Carol and Pepper Middleton, they were unexpectedly barred from entering the royal box despite having previously obtained seats there, solely due to the manipulative and ill-intentioned maneuverings of Meghan Markle. This deliberate act on Meghan's part to exclude them and deny them their rightful place left the Duke of Kent, the esteemed patron of Wimbledon, seething with anger and resentment. During her attendance at Wimbledon, Meghan was accompanied by two close friends from the United States, Genevieve Hillis and Lindsay Roth. To ensure an extra layer of privacy, additional seats were strategically arranged around Meghan and her friends, prompting speculation that either Meghan herself or her security team had made specific requests for enhanced seclusion. The Wimbledon Tennis Championships hold great significance as a hallmark event of the British summer, steeped in traditions, high expectations, and a watchful global audience. However, during Meghan's brief tenure as the Duchess of Sussex, she embarked on an unprecedented and highly controversial course of action by deliberately clearing out a substantial number of prospective spectators from the vicinity surrounding her own seat at Wimbledon. This maneuver was executed with the intention of creating an exclusive and sanitized zone tailored to her personal preferences. Had Meghan adhered to the expected dress code, she would have been eligible to sit in the royal box. Instead, she callously displaced paying spectators who had eagerly anticipated witnessing the matches firsthand. Meghan's misguided belief that people sought her proximity reveals a profound disconnect from reality. Unfortunately, her actions resulted in the exclusion of three dozen fans, including esteemed personalities like Pippa and Carol Middleton, who were unjustly deprived of the opportunity to enter the stadium and enjoy the thrilling tennis match. Meghan's sense of entitlement and her desire for a designated and segregated area exclusively for herself demonstrates a flagrant disregard for the rights and experiences of the ordinary ticket holders who were unceremoniously displaced. The sole purpose of this arrangement was to ensure unimpeded and unobstructed photographic coverage of Meghan by reporters, photographers, Wimbledon cameras, and other attendees. Whatever her underlying motives may have been, Meghan's insistence on upholding this arrangement demonstrated her abuse of power, as innocent individuals were unjustly uprooted from their rightfully paid for seats. Notably, there have been instances in the past when Catherine, the Duchess of Cambridge, voluntarily chose not to occupy the royal box and instead preferred to sit among the regular ticket holders. In stark contrast to Meghan's behavior, Catherine never resorted to displacing or inconveniencing anyone in the process. Her actions reflected a genuine humility and respect for others, traits that Meghan failed to display. Renowned body language expert Judy James has highlighted signs of tension and a growing rift between Meghan and Kate during both the 2018 and 2019 Wimbledon tournaments. It is clear that, this year, the tension between the two duchesses has reached a point where they will not be seated next to each other at the upcoming tennis tournament. Judy James suggests that the strained relationship between Meghan and Kate began to manifest years ago. By comparing their body language at Wimbledon in 2018 and 2019, it becomes apparent that their bond was regressing rather than progressing. During the 2019 tournament, their attempts to project a friendly sister-in-law connection seemed forced, lacking the genuine signs of relaxed enjoyment and camaraderie. Their smiles appeared contrived, and in many ways, they seemed like two individuals who had just met, rather than family members who should share a deep and relaxed friendship. Meghan's alleged attempt to remove Kate's mother and sister from the royal box only added fuel to the fire of their strained relationship. 
It is worth noting that while Meghan was making controversial moves to claim exclusive seating, Catherine never resorted to such measures and willingly mingled with the regular ticket holders, embodying a more down-to-earth and considerate demeanor. The incident at Wimbledon showcased Meghan's propensity for asserting her entitlement and desire for a designated personal space, disregarding the inconvenience and disappointment caused to others. Her actions conveyed a distorted perception of her own importance, a notion far removed from reality. Please consider subscribing to our Royal Family Fans channel for future updates. Thank you for joining us today. Have a wonderful day, and we'll see you in our upcoming videos.